She listens to Sexy Red. You see? She knows the cadence of that song. She listens to Sexy Red. <clears throat> a teacher, you guys. A teacher. An educated black woman. Y'all always screaming, y'all educated, the most educated. But the educated black woman is looking up to Sexy Red. Mm. Most educated, huh? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Not A Pookie Podcast right here on the Black Non-Democrat YouTube and Rumble channel. I'm not going to be up here for long, you guys. I'm going to start doing videos that's probably going to be like five minutes long. And those are the videos that, you know, seem to get monetization off break as soon as I upload because, you know, YouTube don't like um, black men or men in general speaking the truth about um, women or just society as a whole. Now, on today's video, we're going to be looking at something that I really want y'all just to pause the video right after I play this and just give me your raw thoughts on what you are about to see. But let me set it up. Teacher got the kids singing sexy red ski ye in class now at the end of the day i remember growing up and the teachers trying to you know um relate to us and you know they're you know trying to listen to certain hip-hop to you know just incorporate into the curriculum of school now this in this case i i have certain thoughts on it that i will elaborate on a little later but without further ado i want you guys to look at what's happening in this school in this look like they're ah, first graders i don't know let's um let's view it though when you see me tell you gotta say what's up want you guys to go in the comment section this is the call to action video go in the comment section and tell me what you think about what you just seen you know it's a lot of elements going on in here um you have the teacher um you can talk about the teacher um you can talk about the kids um understanding exactly how the song is how how you supposed to say ski ye and i mean they got the melody and everything it's a whole classroom um, you can you can analyze a lot in this. Um, so pause the video and go down in the comment section and tell me what you think because I'm going to give you my views on why I think this is problematic right now. Even though I think the kids understand who um, Sexy Red is by being on TikTok, my nine year old came to me a um, couple of days ago and you know she doesn't she's like a valley girl she's not from the hood she's she's she don't know hood shit and you know she, she she's on tiktok you know um and i try to limit her tiktok use um she, she probably shouldn't even be on there um i know y'all go in the comments and says just get her off tiktok completely i agree but she came up to me and she was had her own rendition of ski herself and i said do you know who sings that song she was like nah no no what because my daughter gets embarrassed when she's doing something inappropriate. You know what I mean? She she's 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 a sweetheart, and you know when when she's out of the know of something, and you tell her, she just feels so bad. And I said, "Do you know who sings that song? With with that mean?" She was like, "No." I was like, um, "Sexy Red sings that song," and she knows Sexy Red. Me talking about Sexy Red, and you know she knows at least that Sexy Red is an inappropriate artist and and female and she doesn't even like her but when she found out that that's where she got it from because they're doing it on tiktok they're redoing certain things on tiktok so she's thinking she's getting it from tiktok or these people on tiktok but you know 
she don't know it's coming from this ratchet um, chick that that's just you know took hip hop by storm in the last couple of months, and uh, we allowed it as well. But the problematic thing with this is, and I told her, don't listen to, don't say that anymore. Don't. And she said, nope, mm -mm, I ain't saying that no more. Mm -mm, I don't want you looking at me like I'm crazy. And I said, don't listen, don't you ever, I don't want to hear you listen to no sexy red. After 18, you can listen to whoever you want to. But by then, I think you're going to have your good morals and values. But at the end of the day, you see this teacher who's a black woman. Only black women will do this. Introduce their children at school at school and their children at home because they don't have any men in the la in their lives and I'm sure the men in this school are not about to tell this black woman what to do because she's going to tell him shut the fuck up and you don't know me and you know all of this other shit so he just probably like the male teacher probably like that's just not right but he's not going to say anything you see but I'm going to say something today see the reason why this is problematic is because these kids may not know, just like with, with my daughter, may not know the full extent of where this song comes from. But guess what's going to happen? They're going to do their research. They're going to go online and they're going to find Sexy Red. They're going to find Sexy Red. They're going to find Pound Town. They're going to find Coochie Pink Booty Hole Brown. They're going to find Sexy Red. And kids are impressionable. You guys, impressionable. I just seen this guy on Instagram, and he was like, you know, um, don't don't you go in your in your in your teenager's phone, man, if you don't want to see some crazy shit. And I'm probably he probably right. And kids are impressionable. They're doing shit. They you know doing things behind your back, and that's why you need to have structure. That's why you need to have some type of structure in these children's lives. I always said to myself, like, okay, you'll see my parenting once i leave the room you see what i'm saying but this woman i'm i'm sure 90 percent of these kids are from single mothers and these single mothers aren't saying nothing to this this teacher i bet this teacher is not gonna get fired i bet she's not gonna get reprimanded i bet we just seen sexy red go into a gym and and them little kids went ham they went crazy for her so I think these kids do know who Sexy Red is. If they don't, they're going to look that song up. They're going to see what, it, what what's it all about. And that's where we're at in our community, you guys. We're here. Where this black woman, she don't care about those kids. She don't. Because she listens to Sexy Red. You see? She knows the cadence of that song. She listens to Sexy Red. <coughs> A teacher. You guys, a teacher, an educated black woman. Y'all always screaming, y'all educated, the most educated. But the educated black woman is looking up to Sexy Red. Go figure. That's all I got. Y'all go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Mm. Most educated, huh?